Hey guys, Corbin here again. Uh, for the intro, I'm going to redirect you guys back over to the Nightwing video. Um, depending on which order I release these in, Nightwing will 100% be first. But I will redirect you because I'm not going to tell you every video about DC Essentials, my experience with DC Essentials, and what Deceased is. Because like I said, I plan on at least reviewing all the Bat Family of these figures. So just hop on over to the Nightwing video if you haven't seen it. If you have, then you should be fine and you should be caught up. Anyways, here we have Red Hood. Um, he, he's pretty good. Uh, from this figure, it's like, I don't know. Like I like I have said, it, they're very hit or miss. And that's, um, it, again, I don't know the order. I just know Nightwing will be first. But at this time, I have recorded Nightwing, Batgirl, and now Red Hood. Nightwing, it was like, the further you went down his body, the worse the detail went. Batgirl, it was like, overall, the quality was good, but it was like, the bet, the more you went up. But now Red Hood, it's like, the bottom's pretty good, the head is fantastic, but then the chest, it's, I don't, it's, I don't know what, I don't understand DC Essentials. Uh, the, the blood and the ripped shirt, like the ripped shirt doesn't even look like it's ripped. It, like I can see through to the Bat logo, the blood looks like it's just painted on there, but then the dirt and the ripped pants and the scuffs on his like boots and armor, those look fantastic. The blood on his hands look all right. Then his helmet, the detail is insane. So I really do not understand how DC Essentials goes about their business. His jacket is flimsy, could, yeah, that could come off easily. Um, his two gun holsters that are pretty flexible and flimsy, move them around. The guns come out, which I have been, in the other figures, I've been wanting accessories, but I guess since they're zombies, it makes sense that they don't have accessories. But why does he still have guns? Just to put them in his thing, because he can't he can hold them. Well, I guess if you click it onto his finger, he can hold them, he's just not gripping it. So if you do that, it is like he's kind of holding his gun and he's sort of like, eh, you know, like still holding it in a way. But his guns are the exact same. They're, they're all right guns, nothing too high quality. Same on the other side there. And then you can slide them down into his holsters. And those fit pretty snugly there. Um, but yeah, let me show you up close what we got going on here. He's got open palms looking like he's growling and snatching at something like a zombie would. The, the broken uh, helmet is fantastic. Slowly, slowly, slowly. We need to get one of them uh, turntable things that I see other reviewers do. That makes sense. But yeah, and the metallicness of the helmet is fantastic. Um, so far, I would rank them Batgirl. Nightwing Red Hood, I think. I think. It's, they're very iffy. They're all, <laughs> DC Essentials is very hit or miss, guys. I'm not joking when I say this. Um, like I've said in the Nightwing video, I have a Blue Beetle figure that I'm in love with, but then I have a Static figure that I've only kept because it's Static Shock, and it's like an okay figure. It just, they're all over the place, guys. And someone explained to me why they're still making toys because I thought McFarland did all their toys. And is this now like a McFarland brand or something? I, explain to me how that works because I of course do not know. Um, same articulation as the other guys. Um, their, their swivelness here in their chest is very stiff on every figure. He's a little more stiff in the legs, but not like too stiff to worry. It's just a little harder to, you know, move him around. But overall, his he is fine at moving his chest I am a little more worried about but I've already moved it enough that I don't think anything is going to happen to it um, the helmet in that face it's just like that is some great detail the broken the cracks uh, and then seeing in there to his eyes and his like gummed teeth the words like you know he doesn't have lips and crap anymore um, yeah overall this red hood it's like they're good figures but it's also it's just the detail's not always there, and that's what my problem is with DC Essentials. And you'd think if it is McFarlane making them, they'd be a little better at it or something. So maybe I have them posed with like 
the gun dangling down because it's not like he really knows how to use it anymore. Or maybe, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe he can still use the gun. I haven't read Deceased, so I don't know how how that works. But there's that. He looks nice. I, I am in love with this helmet. That is fantastic. But yeah, that's it for this one, guys. Um, you guys like zombies. If you like Deceased, come on down. Pick you up figures. I know it seems like I'm talking a little negative on these guys. It's not, it's just like compared to McFarlane now, it's like, it does look a little lackluster. But they're still good figures, it's just, again, compared to McFarlane, you know, it's like, ugh. And that's, you don't, for me personally, you don't want to compare to McFarlane, but that'd be like, McFarlane doesn't want to compare to NECA, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, alright, that's, that's it, guys. Red Hood fans, come on down.